Welcome to the video. This video is about me rewriting the article of VirtualBox from A till Z. We're on a Windows 10 machine and I saw that the video that I had for Windows 10 was a while back with Arch Merch and all that. So I'm going to make a new video to install VirtualBox on Windows 10 and install Arch Linux on it. So, I've prepared some things here where you're going to Google and then you Google VirtualBox and you find VirtualBox here and then you're going to go to the website and you download the Windows hosts. So when clicking here, it seems it's actually already downloading your element, your application. So we don't need this anymore. We go to our download folder and we're going to install this one. Setup couldn't be easier, so next, and then just leave everything as is. You see also the word Python here, people from Linux recognize that word. Create, start, menu, enter, see so ya. Yeah, shortcut to the desktop, no, I want a clean desktop. It's just a shortcut. And the quick launch bar, mwa, mwa, yeah, maybe. And that one, okay, so just on the desktop, I don't want to see an icon here, otherwise I have to throw it anyway in the dustbin. Now, installing VirtualBox sometimes gives problems. Not installing, but running then later on, it gives issues for the students and for users in general. So, on linux.com, I was writing and I'm writing at the mo this point in time an article and I've added all the issues that I had, that students had, on their machine and it's in this article how to install VirtualBox from A till Z. So all the help I've, I've given to my students and users in general. There are other websites and, and issues and VirtualBox showing only 32 bits and then this fixed FTX AMD stuff. So people come with different hardware to university and they try to install VirtualBox and they get issues or they try to install a 64 and a 32 or vice versa. Anyway, so some troubles, some issues that uh, people encountered have been added here at the bottom. So you can take a look at that as well. And we're going to add this, mu this movie, this, this tutorial to that article. So we need to install Arch Linux. Where do we get Arch Linux? Well, we go to the net and we go to the download button, Arch Linux. Then you can choose, you can either have an Arch Linux, which is XFC Openbox i3, or you start by learning um, with a base Arch Linux D installation, then, then you run scripts and you hashtag out the things you don't want and add elements that you do want. Or you can build an ISO, and if you're not ready to build anything, you can just download ISOs. And let's maybe download an, one of the last ISOs we've made. I accept. And one of the ISOs that's the very last one is the minimal for MATE, which is 1.5 gig. And 41 people have found it. It's only on there from the 23rd. And we're now 27, so four days ago it was released. And we are going to get that one. Now, why not include also a tip, a very good tip. You see that, I'm, you know, maybe I live in Belgium, maybe you know that. But it's coming from Czech Republic. I mean, that's far away from me. So if you want to have a faster download, you can check this link, problems downloading. And you say, okay, what's easier for me? This would be, I think, about 1,000 kilometers less, right? Doesn't mean it's going to be faster here, but it's in distance anyway, uh, faster. If I want to have a very slow connection, I'll best install from India. That's quite far away from Belgium, Europe, right? So there are different uh, servers, that's my point. So if you are complaining of a low uh, speed, then you should just check and, and see if you get another server. So this thing is downloading here at 16 megabytes per second, so that's quite good. Uh, 16 as is, is super speed. Well, 20 is 18, 20 is what I get maximum out of my uh, internet service provider contract. So that's what you pay for. It's uh, the speed you get is what you 
pay for. Okay, so that's almost in. <clears throat> we have time to set everything up. We need to take a look at this, all these elements, not um, at this point in time, not interesting, but you should uh, at some point in time. But this button here, or the other one, machine, new machine, well, I better put it in English so everybody can see. Uh, this is the Dutch, so preferences, Vorken is language, English, please. Thank you very much, so everybody knows. So new, okay, so new, we're going to install Arco Linux B Mate and is the minimal version. So it's a version where we have 600, 700 megabytes less. So it's Linux, yeah, sure. Arc Arch Linux 32, no, it's not Arch Linux 32. And here you see I have this myself the issue that I need to solve that it says a, you have only the possibility of 32 bits. So I have to figure out my on my own machine here how to set this. I'm a bit surprised about that. But anyway, we have a solution. You go to here, to the article that I just pointed out. There is this explanation, VirtualBox only showing 32 bits. Read all about it. So I'll have to go to this. Okay, I agree. Yeah, Bonnie, <laughs> I agree. So it explains here that you get this um, drop down of 32 bits. Did you enable the virtualization technology? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did that. So, turn Windows features on and off. Hyper-V was enabled. You have to enable the Hyper-V. So, I'll have a look at that. Yes, yes, yes. And then at the end, we have results. We have 64 bits. So, I'll have to break off this video here, do my stuff, and then, um, well, continue with the video later on. All right, so this is what I'm going to follow, a guide online, which says, okay, look, uh, you have only a drop down of 32 bits, which is exactly what I have. I have only 32 bits. Um, that's it. Everything is 32 bits. So I really need to look into my system in the system of Windows, Windows 10, this machine. All right, I'll be back with more information.